My name is Kevin Price, uh, and I'm known as the Chief Yeoman on HMS Delphi. And uh, my role really is to look after the ship, the public, the exhibits, uh, and make sure that our visitors have a great time. And I've been working here 13 years now. HMS Belfast has got uh, a big history really. She first entered service into Royal Navy uh, 5th of August 1939. She was promptly blown up on the 21st of November of that year. She was one of the, the leading components, if you like. She was the Eastern Sector Bombardment Commander there to support the troops for D-Day. Eventually into home waters for a modernisation refit in 56 uh, to 59. Uh, back out to the Far East, showing the flag. Uh, and eventually she stopped running in 1963 and she entered the reserve fleet. We observe uh, colours and that is where we hoist uh, the flags in the morning. Uh, they're not allowed to touch the floor or deck as we call it. And then we haul down at sunset. We're the resident and only Union Jack in London. Everywhere else if you're flying one, although they refer to it, is actually the Union flag, not the Union Jack. The best starts of the job, I suppose, really, is to be able to tell the sailors' stories. And it's so important that we can tell their stories. And it's always a pleasure to greet and meet veterans when they visit. Their faces light up and they beam, and it's like uh, a sense of coming back home again. So the mess decks where the crew slept, and you was allowed 18 to 21 inches, that was your personal space. But if you talk to a veteran, they will always say to you that the best night's sleep has always been a hammock. Uh, and the reason for that, in rough weather, uh, the hammock, uh, if you like, stays still while the ship revolves around it. The boiler room that's open is what we call the forward boiler room, and there's two boilers. At full power, 32 knots, uh, she would burn uh, about 26 tonnes of fuel per hour. The steam that is produced by the boilers, once it gets to superheated steam, is then channelled off into the engine room, and it's this steam that actually drives uh, the cruising turbines. The ship itself has uh, four propellers. Uh, with a car we always talk about brake horsepower, with a ship we talk about shaft horsepower. Uh, each shaft uh, is registered at 20,000 shaft horsepower and that gives us a total of 80,000 shaft horsepower. She was immensely powerful. All ships have got it, but this one in particular has got its own um, feeding. It's got its own soul and heart, and, and you feel that as you come on.